Good evening, you're watching To The Point. I'm Preeti Chaudhary. Well, it's often said in political circles that if things are going right with the Congress, then the Congress will possibly find something to do itself in. Something to that effect happened today when its mouthpiece, the National Herald, carried a massive headline, which resulted in a massive row. Now, this row that has erupted after the front page headline in the Congress mouthpiece uh, called the Rafal deal as Modi's Bofors. Expectedly, the headline blooper has provided opportunity to the BJP who has targeted the Congress and accused it of finally coming out and admitting that Bofors was indeed a scam. Congress mouthpiece National Herald grabbing the headlines for one headline which sent the grand old party squirming. A front page headline in the mouthpiece screaming, Rafal is Modi's Bofors, referring to the Rajiv Gandhi era Bofors controversy as the mother of all scams. The main opposition scoring a massive self goal in a hurry to target the Modi government over Rafal D, virtually owning up the original mega defense scam. The BJP was quick to seize the opportunity and attack the Congress, claiming that the party's old guilt conscience had been exposed. You see, guilt conscience can't be suppressed for long. They know they are guilty. Therefore, it has come out. And uh, it's come out in a paper which itself is a scam, a national level. At least the Congress has done one good thing, is accept that Bofors was a scam. So now I'm sure they will... The Congress under Rahul Gandhi ji is going to ask for a clear investigation and the investigation in Bofors reaching its logical uh, end. As BJP asked Rahul Gandhi to come clean on Bofors, a red-faced Congress went into damage control. Modifying the article to call Rafal a massive albatross or a burden for Modi. While the party has been tight-lipped, allies rushed to its defence. अब भारतीय जनता पार्टी रफेल के नाम से कटहरे में है और कांग्रेस उसको राजनीतिक लाभ लेगी तो वो क्यों नहीं लेगी जिस तरह से आपने सताया है उस तरह से रफेल के अंदर भी सच्चाई को बाहर निकालने की पूरी कोशिश की जाएगी। The self goal can prove a double-edged sword for Congress, forcing it to admit that Bofors was the mother of all scams, or declare that Rafal was never won. Whatever the intentional or unintentional message may be, one thing is for sure. Expect this to add more fuel to the already raging Rafal fire. With Supriya Bharadwaj in Delhi, Bureau Report, India Today. So it is a lot, you know, it's, it's, it's rather bizarre with what I was saying earlier. Congress might be on a good footing, but definitely it will find something to shoot itself in the foot. Is it that moment for the Congress? Let me bring in at this point of time a consulting editor, Shiva Roor, who is joining us uh, live. Shiv, um, you know, the latest headline of the National Herald today, clearly the Congress has bitten itself. Now, for the benefit of our viewers, let's just go back to the Bofors deal. Any similarities between the two? Well, uh, you know, Preeti, there are, of course, similarities between the two in the sense that, uh, you know, both have become political hot potatoes. Uh, the, the allegations in both of them, uh, you know, circle around the personal corruption of the Prime Minister. Uh, in one case, it was Rajiv Gandhi. In this case, the allegation against Prime Minister Modi. Uh, there were allegations of kickbacks and cronyism uh, in those deals. Both deals, very notably, were, uh, you know, government-to-government -government deals between India and Sweden in the Bofors case and India and France in the case of the Rafal. Uh, but that's, uh, you know, that is perhaps restricted to what the similar similarities are. There are actually vast, uh, a more, a larger number of differences between both these deals, and there are similarities. Well, uh, so, you know, Shiv. So let's just go back right now with what is taking place in this massive blood feud between the Bharatiya Janata Party, the Congress, over Rafal, over Bofors. Would you reckon that this has been a huge embarrassment by the Congress because possibly by linking Bofors to Modi, you're actually admitting that Bofors was a scam. It's, a, it's an enormous gaffe. It's an embarrassing gaffe by the Congress. 
uh, and especially at a time when the Congress, uh, you know, has seen to be putting the government on the yes. mat, uh, has the Modi government on the back foot on the Rafal uh, issue, you know, to indulge in a gaffe of this kind is almost unforgivable. Uh, and we all know, Preeti, that uh, when it comes to the Congress party, the Bofor scandal is like Lord Voldemort. It's an issue that is very, very uh, touchy. It's a touchy topic because of the people uh, who were allegedly involved, Rajiv Gandhi, the Gandhi family, Kwatroki, etc. And therefore, it's like a, it's one of those things that you don't touch let alone joke about or try and indulge in word play over in a news headline of this kind. So you're absolutely right when you say that the Congress has shot itself in the foot because there can only be two meanings from such a headline. Either the Congress is admitting that Bofors was a scam or they're saying that the Rafale is not a scam and it's all just hot air. They can't have it both ways. So I think uh, in this entire blood feud, as you rightly put it, between the Congress and the BJP, when the Congress has done many sharp, aggressive things to actually put the Modi government on the back foot, and the Modi government, in its uncertainty and fumbling in how to deal with this, has emboldened the Congress to actually divert attention away from this issue by indulging in a gaffe of this kind is, is, is pathetic. It's hilarious, uh, and it, you know, it paints the Congress in bad light. It shows them as not being very serious. Uh, remember yesterday, Sanjay Nirupam of the Congress Party held a protest in Mumbai against the Rafal deal where the supporters were carrying around a model of an F-16 fighter jet. So these are credibility issues. Uh, right. You know, Preeti, the Congress might say you're taking away from the main issue, you're missing the wood for the trees. But these, these are issues that point to integrity issues. They also suggest that maybe this is all more mm -hmm. about anti-Modiism than about Rafal. Dynamo. Well, interesting. Th you know, thank you, Shiv, for joining us. And just a fact that we want to throw it out there, because uh, let's look at the Rajiv Gandhi government at that time when Bofors erupted. Uh, incidentally, like today's government, it enjoyed full majority. But Bofors did bring down that government. Could that be the undoing of this government? Well, elections are just about in one year's time. Certain questions that we're putting forth onto the point this evening. Has the Congress invariably admitted that Bofors was a scam? Especially if you take a look at the National Herald headline. The second question that we ask Bofors led to Rajiv Gandhi's downfall, will Rafal be Modi's undoing? Let me quickly cut across uh, to our guests this evening. We have Sanjay Jha from the Congress. We have Nalin Kohli from the Bharatiya Janata Party. Sanjay, read the National Herald today? Yeah, I did. I've read the entire article, Preeti. And uh, maybe I'm preempting your question. Uh, I didn't ask but, you anything you know, yet. Take the headline away, and what does the article convey? The art. Well, I know where you're coming from, but go ahead. No, no. I, uh, no uh, finish, finish, please. I mean, so the truth is the article actually nails Narendra Modi personally, India's Prime Minister. It nails the lie of uh, Nirmala Sitaraman, India's Defence Minister in Parliament. And it exposes the fact that this is possibly a monumental, the largest defence scam in post-independent India, mm -hmm. where a huge businessman, a very famous businessman, cash-strapped, uh, completely financially having no cash or no liquid capital but he gets a huge 30 crore of 30,000 okay. crore offsets manufacturing deal which mm -hmm. over an extended period of time would amount up to 1 lakh 30,000 crore right. and guess what Preeti at the cost of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited mm -hmm. India's most experienced and uh, expertise in defense manufacturing done within two weeks this company with a 5 lakh capital, I hope right. your viewers will hear this part. But a company with a 5 lakh capital, right. set up two weeks before Narendra Modi goes to France, is given a 1 lakh 30,000 crore bonus. Okay. I mean, this is an open and shut case of corruption. All right. You know, Sanjay, before I bring in uh, Nalin as well into this debate, I want to go back. You know, you asked me, you know, I hope your viewers are listening to this. Most viewers and most people who read the newspaper uh, don't go beyond the headline. You know, let me just once again go back to the National Herald and let me go back to the headline. Which one of the two it is? Is it, Sanjay? Because possibly as Congress spokesperson, you'd be able to differentiate it because we in the newsroom were quite in a bind. So is Bofors a scam? Because there could be only two insinuations from that headline that Bofors was a massive scam, so is Rafal. On the other hand, the other insinuation is that Rafal, that Bofors was not a scam, is, so even Rafal isn't. So now that you're saying that this is one of the biggest defense scams, are you admitting to Bofors was a scam as well? Okay. 
No, Rafael is the biggest defense scam as far as Bofors is concerned. So how can Rafael be Modi's Bofors? And categorically, it was never a scam. So how can Rafael be Modi's Bofors? Uh, I'll explain that. I'll, let me explain that. The Bofors was never a scam. Yeah, yeah, Preeti, Preeti, just give me 30 seconds. Sure. Bofors was never a scam and this is not for Nalin to answer or you to answer or me to answer. You answered the it Delhi in your mouthpiece, Sanjay. I'm sorry I'm interrupting you. But years and but years it's, it's of political very, witch hunt. Right. I'm sorry, I'm, you know, you answered it. It's, it's, yeah, the, you it's know, your I, headline I, of the National Herald no, no, screams I, I, it I, I, out. I will answer your question. I will answer your question. Okay. All right, Nalin, just I'm bear with us and we'll take you in. I'm coming to the headline. I'm coming to the headline. I'm going to answer the headline question. Believe me, I'm, I'm, I'm not ducking anything at all. Bofors was never a scam. Arun Jaitley, his entire team, the entire Vajpayee government went after Mr. Rajiv Gandhi. They found mm -hmm. nothing. The Delhi High Court dismissed the case. Nothing's been found in no Rafal as well. The prime, former Prime Minister, Mr. Rajiv Gandhi, who said in Parliament that there was no... There, no, one minute, the, the BJP can politically rake up whatever it, it, they, they want to, okay. but everybody knows the case is closed. Uh, former Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi stood vindicated when he said in Parliament there was no financial Sanjay, come kickback. to the headline. It was established by the courts. Right. Now, where Rafael is concerned, it's a daylight robbery. It's a daylight robbery. Now, coming to the headline, I can tell you Beaufort was used by the BJP in particular to create a kind of a... It caught the public imagination. Sanjay, it's a highly convoluted headline then to have for viewers who have... We lost, we lost, uh, you know, possibly you know, even... Uh, okay, it I, is, I've put in 10 years well, in journalism and even I'm a bit Well, foxed. the National Herald... Okay. I'm answering that. Yes. I, Preeti, I, I have a lot of respect for you actually and I agree with you that the headline I wish we had done without it because the okay. BJP obviously desperate is trying to latch on to it. But the truth is, it is used only as a metaphor or as, as a trope. It's, but the okay, but bottom it's not line a metaphor, is Sanjay, it's not just the BJP. It's a privilege motion okay. against Narendra right. Modi and Sita Raman. Okay, with your permission, let me bring in substance. Nalin. This is substance. We are going to argue on substance of the Rafael scam. But like I said, sometimes you don't move beyond the headline, and a lot of people will read this, and it's not just the Bharatiya Janata Party. If I read this, I don't know what you're trying to say. All right, Nalin Kohli, uh, come into this debate. Now, you're accusing the. Congress for finally admitting to the Beaufort scam. But having said that, if you're going to pick on that headline, Nalin, then you'll also have to admit that Rafal is a scam. One step at a time. First of all, I hope your viewers will forgive me for the few moments of I was unable to control my laughter. Because I think from morning, just no one in this country who watches or reads papers or has been on Twitter or on watching channels, but I've missed what the Congress Party's mouthpiece has done to itself. So it's a clear admission. It doesn't take one ten years of experience. Anyone who reads a basic English will know that the Congress mouthpiece has referred to Bofors as a scam. And that's why they are building the case that Rafael is a scam. So it's clear. I mean, Sanjay, I must say, as a spokesperson on the other side, has tried his best and valiantly, I would say, in trying to somehow come up with an explanation. But that's what the headline is, that Bofors is a scam. The second part I'd like to point out is that with regard to the Congress Party's mouthpiece, which is the National Herald, that also is a running scam in itself. After all, Mr. Rahul Gandhi, if, I, if my memory is correct, is actually out on bail on the National Herald case. And essentially, National Herald itself is a 90 crore rupees which went from the Congress Party into National Herald and then it was given away to this private limited company of Rahulji called Young Indians or something like that. So now this is a scam newspaper that at least has the honesty to accept that Beaufort is a scam. Now the third element is on Rafal. On Rafal, it is to manufacture a scam. So therefore they need to say something, build a story. And in doing so, they have shot themselves terribly in the foot, not with a bullet, but with actually an AK-47. On Rafael, I'll put it in very simple terms. What is the old Rafael thing? Nine, 2007, Rafael started for 126 aircraft, which is the UPA government. That time, the price was indicated at something like about $79 million for a single craft, for 126. By 2011, which is also clearly the UPA government, that price went up to just over 100 million. So that's an escalation of some 
when modi ji finally signed that deal which is a government to government between france and india nalin you're also forgetting your mos who on the floor of the parliament million. and i'll bring in sanjay so dhayar i'm sorry to come in but i just want to correct you before uh, the prime minister signed that deal your mos on the floor of the parliament gave out the price then what is the need of your defense minister of our defense minister to Which once would... again come back and call it a secret pact because it makes no sense you see well because i'll tell you where the point is and this has been said endlessly on debates this is a specific government to government contract with some very specific modifications for india's defense and the price i mean if i go today to buy a craft just assuming you and i were buying a craft which we can't and you decide what armaments are required whether it should be capable of carrying a certain payload of bomb whether it should have a certain penetration or fuel capability enhancement okay. these are technical issues the minute you start saying this is the price the logical thing is the breakdown of the price the breakdown of that price will give away what have you bought what have you bought is preparation okay. for the enemy literally to know okay now in sanjay wants to come in for a rebuttal i'm going to allow him that that Nalin, is what the whole to... thing is kg about right, it's not about okay now uh, sanjay wants to come in for a sure. rebuttal yes sanjay sure. come in it's a debate he's entitled to a rebuttal all right come in sanjay priti let me now let me now use an analogy as well because narin used one i'd use an analogy as well you know i'll tell you what mr modi and the bjp are trying to say you buy a car for 50 lakhs so we all agree the cost of the car is 50 lakhs now according to mr modi and i think nalin as well who i believe is equally doing a brilliant job of defending an indefensible argument is you add for you know more perhaps attractive tires you put an a leather upholstery you add a tv screen you put some you know great little modifications in terms of lights etc and what happens the price of the car moves from 50 lakhs to 150 lakhs i can understand additives and you know add ons having certain you know peripheral cost so 50 could have gone to 60 maybe even 65 150 lakhs what are we talking about this is outlandish is bizarre so this is i think at the end of the day something for which the government is ducking making an explanation why the price has gone up subhash bhamre the minister of state for defense in parliament says this is the price of the aircraft he said 670 crores narendra modi and nirmala sitaraman say no we can't disclose it but you have already disclosed it i mean i don't understand this is a very bizarre contradiction it's like me saying preeti mm -hmm. i mean i love india today and then i tell you i don't i mean what will the viewers think i mean it's inconsistent it's, it's grotesque well, the well, second point this is fundamental i'd like to respond it's very easy hindustan aeronautics and dasso corporation make a public statement that we are ready to sign the deal we are 95% done with the deal we're going to start manufacturing and guess what happens narendra modi goes to france and in okay. between reliance has declared right. that they, i'd like to bring in nalin thousand crore okay. offsets contract publicly Sanjay. they talk about 130000 right. crores and nirmala sitaraman says no we have not given an offsets contract sanjay i'll bring on? it yes we talked about this earlier i'll bring in nalin on this and on a lighter note if you do love india today don't let your paper carry it because we never know whether you love india today or you don't but uh, nalin i'll uh, I'll get you in on this because <laughs> there is a huge charge at this point of time like of crony capitalism, <laughs> where a yeah. certain contract is given at the cost of HAL to to Mr. Ambani, who has absolutely no no background when it comes to aircraft. Look, again, yes, they are making a charge, and they have to find something because their leader, the great leader. has gone ahead and even revealed conversations that the he had with the factual. president of France it's factual so i think they the contract did new, go to rely you know what to say a new defense. low or a new high so this is a, no so this is the congress party one minute the congress party okay. which is now reached a point where first they don't trust their own government which is okay they are the opposition party they don't trust even the foreign government and then their paper which is a scam says bofors is a scam and then is manufacturing a scam i don't know why the bjp should be answering for all this the congress has enough to answer all right the congress has enough to answer sanjay has just raised his hand sanjay you wanted to come in yes the last two minutes we'll give one minute to each person sanjay make your point yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, let me tell you okay okay firstly uh, to my good friend nalin a big jhappi from my side now a question that you must answer to me because you're a you're a well known lawyer i believe answer this question of mine 
कैन यू इमेजिन अ कंपनी इन मॉडर्न टाइम्स विद अ फाइव लाख इक्विटी कैपिटल पांच लाख ओके पांच लाख इक्विटी कैपिटल जीरो एक्सपीरियंस इन डिफेंस वी आर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट मेकिंग बॉल बेरिंग डिफेंस राफेल जेट्स एंड दे गेट अ बिजनेस ऑफ वन लैख थर्टी थाउजेंड क्रोर्स नो डिफेंस एक्सपर्टीज फाइव लैख कैपिटल द कंपनी इज सेटअप टू वीक्स अर्लियर नलिन नलिन कम आर यू नो यू कैन आई नो यू कैन डिफेंड मोदी एंड द बीजेपी दिस टाइम आई थिंक यू नीड टू पब्लिकली एडमिट ऑन द टेलीविजन स्क्रीन आई एम गोट डिफेंड एम बट आई नो दैट वी हैव डन a terrible deal in crony capitalism maybe the money goes to the but sir today is also a terrible day know, for you to ask nalin to admit something on national television because your headline today once again i'll have to come to it but nalin last one minute go ahead 3 quick comments we do know what the chappies are followed by they are followed by a wink so that is the new art of jappi and followed by a wink see what a good move i did The second part is with regards to the Congress, they need to manufacture a scam because they don't have a single scam to point out at Narendra Modi ji's tenure. You compare that with the previous UPA government; every month you had a scam, if not every year, each one bigger than the other. So, manufacturing a scam is a priority for them. And the third is, end of the day, the Congress party. We have to thank yeah, the National Herald. We know that the scam. National Herald itself is a scam okay. with what Rahul Gandhi ji's personal property it is, but we thank them. for the brilliant job done in at least having for once accepted that bofors was a scam so while they want to manufacture a scam at least they admitted the scam which was which is but now in once again like i said they might have shot themselves in the foot but if you are going to accuse them that they have admitted to bofors is a scam then in the same headline they are also saying yeah. rafal is a scam all right gentlemen i need all of this they have moved british they have moved all those all right. notices and all that stuff all right we so still have okay i believe we still have about Nalin, a minute so to go so agrees with that all right okay okay we still have a so minute to Nalin go i'm just being told sanjay you want you want to come in for a final word so so na, so that nalin so one minute yeah yeah so so uh, i'll tell you very unwittingly but nalin in that case has agreed that rafael is a scam and after so a long Bofors time a i seem to be agreeing with so that this Nalin. is turning out now to be a lot of fun for me is both is both trials How? tribulations no 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 but listen pretty hard has it's, it's gone really, one minute really one minute there's one big both difference both of you are accusing Bofors each other one is going through trial one is calling both of the scam the other one is calling for the scam you don't want to the court let the other part but the bofors has been cleared by the courts bofors No, okay. no. One minute, Bofors. One minute, Bofors is cleared by the courts. Rafael has to go through the process. Rafael is an alleged scam, and if it does not go through the courts, it will remain perhaps in unless it get clearance by the courts. Okay, twenty it is seconds. Nalin, Bofors is now cleared and closed. Okay, Rafael Nalin, is open. Twenty seconds. And Mr. Narendra Modi will have to answer that. I don't that. need twenty. Mr. Modi will have to answer that. So right, after Nalin. Bofors, after Bofors was cleared by the courts. The Congress mouthpiece actually went ahead and declared it a scam. So I guess the truth always comes out. That's the beauty of the truth. The truth always comes out. It hasn't. All right. I just hope the truth it's, comes it's a out. Metaphorical right. statement. Okay. Okay. All right, gentlemen. Appreciate appreciate you both for joining us. It was a pleasant debate. Uh, nobody talked over each other, but uh, definitely it's not the last time we're going to hear of Rafal and also Bofors. With that, it's a wrap on this edition of News. Stay with us. In depth is next. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share and subscribe to India Today. Also check out our other great videos from our channel. We know you would love to.